all right guys so um, in this video we're going to see how we can convert an html website to a react website so this one is a html website that i'm talking about here so very simple website that actually does nothing it's it's just um, you can say the basic conversion of code from html to react right so we'll be going through um, a few basic things during this tutorial and also i'll keep the errors in this uh, video i will show you the warnings and errors that we get while converting the code from html to um, react so let's just uh, get started so i've i've added this uh, link in the description you can actually go to this link and download the files so these these are the initial files that we um, are going to use for this tutorial so you can simply go to this code and copy or you can actually download a zip as well so um, this copying this https and then you can um, you know um, downloading it cloning it through git is more like a developer it actually looks cool in my opinion right so you can simply um, open your hyper terminal here or any terminal that you have you can open it and then you can simply say git and clone and then you can pass in the url paste in the url actually sorry my english is terrible right so uh, yeah so you can simply just paste in the url and you can uh, click enter and this will clone all the files in this folder i've already um, cloned them so i want to be doing that again all right so initial files is uh, the thing that we need and we can simply um, open over let's say code editor you can open any code editor i, I am using uh, the vs code so these are the files that i'm having right now okay so this is the image folder this i'm just showing with a little folder structure this is the website and there are no actually pages this is just a one page website and then you can have the styles here right okay so to get started with the react we can uh, just simply say um, npx create dash react dash app and then you can uh, name it your your app whatever you want let's just say um simple dash app okay and this should do the job and okay yes proceed this actually takes some um all right yeah uh, so one thing that i've forgot that uh, if uh, um, like previously you can simply run this command to um, install this application but now sometimes this gives us error that the version is 5.0.0 and you want you are trying to install 4.0.3 right so simple thing that you can do to this uh, to you know overcome these kind of errors that you can say react app at 5.0.0 right this will install the react applications 5.0.0 version right so this will be installing our application and since this package is um, i guess about 200 mbs if i'm not wrong so this will be taking some time and i'll be skip, skip, skipping that part um, and then yeah when once it, it's installed then i'll come back i talk too much all right guys so the react application has been installed and we can simply go to the directory simple application simple dash app right and then we can simply say npm start okay it's all written here so once i click that we should be running our react application at localhost i guess it's 3000 yeah 3000 so this should be the first thing that we'll see uh, not the blank page actually once it's loaded uh, i don't know why it's taking that much time it should not but once it's completely loaded you can see a simple um this react logo spinning and this and this five one actually i've i've done that and so don't worry about that it's just you know me all the time i'm just kidding all right so the first things first we have this simple app we have node modules that we have just that are installed right and then we have this public and then we have um, our src that should contain all the necessary files that are uh, you know required to run this application 
So index.js is the main entry point where you can see this app is linked and this app is actually here, right? So all you have to do is change our stuff here and add new components, all that stuff. I'll be doing that right now and I'll be uh, telling you how you can do it. All right. So the first thing we can change the title from index.html file, right? Because this is the main file that is rendered and this id root is actually coming from um, index.js, right? Here, you can see we are making all the changes from here to root, okay? All right, so we have this. So we can say react to, um, sorry, html to react, okay? Oops, react, all right. So HTML to react, we have our index file, we have changed the title and then we can just, um, let's just go to the folder structure and see it from here. Yes. Now go over to this initial files folder and click, uh, select all the images from here. And then you can go to this public and you can paste them here. You can change the fab icon as well. Um, I will be leaving that as it is because um, this tutorial is not about this one. So we have all those images here in the public folder. And now we can create our um, components. So what you can do here is you can go to your SRC folder. And inside this folder, you should create another folder that would be components. Okay. So these are the components that uh, uh, we'll be actually having only three components for now that would be f uh, header, foot and uh, body because this is a simple, um, you know, basic level tutorial. So the first component is header.js, so second one should be um, footer, oops, what is going on here, okay, let's save this footer.js the second one and the third one should be it should be body.js okay and this is actually a convention guys you should be using this capital letter while you are um, naming the components right and also we'll be using the tags of react with capital letters because for example if i'm using a body tag somewhere that i've created so this body tag in react is showing that the capital B is showing that this is self-made uh, body tag, uh, I mean the made by developer and the default tags are something like this. For example, we have break tag or uh, I'm talking about self-closing tags, right? So image tag or anything like that, okay? So this is um, the convention. So starting with small uh, letters, that it, it actually means that you um, these are the defaults and the bold letters, uh, the big letter, capital letters, actually, it means that we have created this ourselves. All right, so enough talking, let's just um, start with the header. You can import, import react from, in, in commas, you can say react, and then we can close it. Let's just start with capital react, okay. Now, we can start our function and we can name it let's just say function and function header and inside this function we have to return something so that something is going to be the folders that we are uh, uh, you know the header part of uh, not the folders the header part of our thing so this is actually the method you should using it. You should be using a div because you cannot return a lot of stuff in here. You can return one element, so you can wrap it up in one div, right? So we can just go here to the our HTML file that from here where we will copy. Um, so this is the website that we are going to convert. So yeah, let's just see. We have. Um, all right, so body is starting from here and above all of this we have the header part so we can simply copy this one okay and then we can paste it here so you can see a lot of errors so the first thing that you guys can see is um, let me just align it
all right so first thing that you can see is that this one is not getting any color this is because uh, we are um, writing jsx right now so this means nothing because uh, this will already be included in the document as we can see here so this will already be injected into here this part and this html part and so we can actually remove this html part as well okay so we have the title we have these meta tags and all that stuff now why we have a lot of errors this is because uh, in jsx the tags should be closed properly so if you see this error th this will tell you that uh, expecting corresponding jsx closing tag for the link right so that means that we have a few uh, tags that are not available here we'll, we will have to close them so instead closing them with uh, something like this meta we just simply do uh, in jsx we simply just you know um, write this slash here okay so this will um, remove the errors from our code right and this link as well because all the tags that are self-closing we should be using this um this slash with them forward slash all right so what's up with this part this is actually um the style and uh, the style should be used inside the css so we, we can just simply copy this one or let's just copy this one from here and then we can go to the style <coughs> all right so we have pasted this into the style.css file of uh, the main website and we'll be copying this stuff later on right so for now this thing seems good and it is working we should remove this style tag as well okay so we have successfully convert make our um, first uh, component that is header and then we should um, you know export it so we can say export and default that is header all right so export default header that is exported and we can simply just copy this one and then we can go to this footer and paste it here and in the body we can paste here as well so now we should copy the footer from this file right Oh, not this one actually there are two index retinal files a bit confusion but we can okay so we have the footer down here where is the footer man i guess we don't have any footer right so no footer cool actually there was a footer what's happening Okay, we can actually um, come back later to this part. We should go to, um, now we can copy this body tag and we can go to this body section and just uh, get rid of all that code and paste the body tag here, right? And we can actually, um, yeah, again, there are a lot of errors and the first errors that you guys should get rid of are these HTML tags. So these HTML tags are not allowed in JSX or, or uh, um, JS. So they actually have their own special kind of com uh, uh, commands. You can select, uh, click control and then you can click on this slash button on your keyboard that will give you this. Um, comment template right so uh, opening curly brace then slash then you can see a star and then closing curly brace right so this is how you do um, the comments so once we are done with this we should be uh, we should see the other errors that we are getting so this body is uh, this error actually is actually not uh, because of this body is because it's because of the images that we are having um, inside of this code right so we can what we can simply do is just put this slash after all the images that we have so we can simply find the images all the image tags there are seven of them and the first one i've added the slash and then the second one oops All right, guys, I guess it's done. The images are finally um, done now. I guess there is still something left. Let's just see what is it. This should be, yeah. 
there we have okay and the comment that I forget to comment out cool then we have another header horizontal rule it is then we have break tags we can close them up as well so this is some um, donkey work that I guess we'll have to do to you know start uh, to you know get our, our website up and running right and still I think there would there would be some errors but uh, I'll let you know once um, we'll start because it's looking good but uh, we are will be having errors because of these styles because these are this JSX cannot actually understand these kind of styles right about footer so I guess we should leave it as it is then because there is nothing in the footer we can simply say dev and then we can just write a heading h1 just to show you and we can say footer okay and we should re rename it as well footer 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 all right same goes for the body we have this header here we can say body and in the end we have this body cool now we have created three components <coughs> body header and footer and now what we have to do is Yes, sorry about that. Okay, so um, these are the components. Now we have to enter all these components into our app.js file, right? So we have here app.js, there. So all get rid of all the code that we have in header because we don't actually need this. And inside this app, we can start writing our components. So the first one was header. Again, this closing tag, and then we have body tag with the closing tag, and then we have the footer with closing tag, right? So um, this should work fine, I guess, but there would be errors. There would be a lot of errors still because that is not. Oops, the first one that we got is that we haven't really defined them. So we should be doing this import um, header from you can select that you have components and in components you have this header same goes for import um, body from those slash components slash body and the last one is let's just copy this one why didn't i do that earlier import footer from cool so this uh, this uh, should do the job but still we will see a blank screen and nothing not, no errors nothing at all and this is the time to see our inspect elements console so this should tell you that we have few errors so the errors in image list item so there are a lot of errors right so i can tell you what is the error mostly the error is due to the styles right because you can see um <clears throat> this actually doesn't allow um you to style like this jsx doesn't allow us to style like this so what is the solution we should be adding it into two curly braces and then we should treat them as um json files so that should see style should see it as um uh, an object right so style is having a variable inside this uh, curly brace so this variable is having uh, an object right so this object is having a weight and the uh, say the percentage uh, the width and, the, and its value actually so key value pair right all right so we should see the styles style and we have style at eight places and i'll just quickly quickly do all of them Alright guys, I guess that's it. We have uh, um, done that and this should be, should work now, but it's still not working. Now what is the issue? Um, you should mean char set. Oh yeah. And all, all those that are having the class, we should be saying that as class names because in, um, in our 
jsx it is class name it's not class so this is class name right so when you are you when you are converting from html to react you should rename all the classes that you have to class name with capital m and we have replaced them all should replace them all cool and in the header as well we should see that we have this char set that should be s capital that is char s with char set and this should do the job i guess there are still some errors i don't know um reg does not recognize class name name oops see there are two class name name now what is what has happened what have what i've done class name name okay so there is one class name name and we can simply rename this one cool okay now what now we have a few more errors that are in div body div app let's just see what are these errors what what can be these errors the class name is good and everything oh yeah there is another style that i've forgot to clear you see these kind of errors are mostly that that errors that you can see are uh, mostly because of the styles right so okay it's it's now working so yeah we have successfully converted our website to a react website but uh, there, there is one thing that i've uh, you can see the footer as well this is the photo component we have added the uh, h1 heading all right so one thing that i forgot to mention was that the css of this file was coming uh, from an online source that's why uh, we didn't actually require to add the css file but if you are uh, having your css download it you can simply go to this uh, you can simply copy your css into, into this app.css right we don't actually need any of uh, this css so this css is directly um, into the css we have on our um, file right on our apps file the react.js apps file so that's how we converted our website to a react website right so i've told you how to change your title how you can change the how you can change your um, fab icon as well and here we can see we have um, react in javascript frameworks programming language is node.js and all the cool stuff is here so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching my video what's up guys today's video is uh, about the difference between map and for each methods of es6 now before es6 of javascript we used to loop through the elements like this that this was quite um, a hectic task and uh, now uh, just for the simplicity i've already written the code if okay so this was just a for loop uh, i hope you all are familiar with that and this is for each method of uh, uh, ES6. What what this do what, what this does is actually loops through all the elements of this array, takes this array, and for each element do this. And this is the function that takes a parameter. That pa this parameter can be anything. It can be x. It can be y. It can be um, any value, right? So just pass in here. Okay, so this was a method of looping through the elements uh, in ES6. But what if I copy this and I paste it in here and I change this to map? Same results, right? So how are these methods different? So first of all, let me tell you that for each is a looping method. For each actually loops through the elements in the array while map copies the array, copies this array and uh, gives us another array, right? And that new array can also be modified. For example, if I want to create a new array from uh, this one, from this array, I want to create a new array. For example, I say um, const, oops, const new array equals, right? So what I want to return in this new array is return well we whatever this was plus something else lol 
okay so what if i want to now console this array oh, let me just first do the same for the map oh, let's just copy this one and paste it here and this can be new array 2 table name in here but we can do anything we want because we are developers okay so what if i console dot log this one um this is new array this says undefined while if i do the same for new array 2 oh, oh sorry this one is going to be map okay so if i um uh, I, if I try to do the same for uh, the new array 2, which is using a map function, this is actually returning something. This is actually returning an array, and this array you can see is now modified. So, this was a difference between um, the map and for each function. Now, to summarize all this, uh, previously we, we, we were using the loops from uh, JavaScript, but now we have ES6 and we have two methods that are confusing for a lot of people uh, for each and map. Now, what for each does is this only loops through the element, and if we if we even try to modify our array uh, with this method, this returns undefined. This was the first console.log, um, but if we do the same through map, map actually copies the array and then it uh, returns. Uh, the array to another uh, it, it, it actually it actually copies the array into another array and we can also uh, modify um, the array right so the examples are weird but uh, there are a lot of uses for all of these hello everyone today's lecture we are going to see what are es6 variables now before ES6 we have var and now we have let and const. So now if we already had var, why was there a need for uh, new variables? Now let's see that var was actually having a problem. The problem was var could can actually be redeclared. For example, if I have a variable var and name is player one and I perform some calculations on this one. I'm just uh, naming it sum for now and you are maybe writing a game and on some line you forgot that you have already um, declared variable player and you again declare this player one and you perform some other calculations right some other calculations on this one now if you uh, see that is uh, if you see the results then you will notice that all the progress that you had earlier on the uh, on the variable that you were using above was actually gone and now you have the things that were associated with this one so this could have been a real problem for someone who is who, who doesn't actually remember that he, he has already created some variable now how does let uh, solve this problem if i have a variable called game let's say game and again i have some calculations on this one and on some line i have oops sorry it's let and on some line i have created the same variable again then before even console logging something it will tell me that i have already declared game right so this way we can uh, we can understand that we have uh, we are actually you know we are um, redeclaring some variables we are using some variables again and again now one thing to remember here is that var is uh, var can be redeclared and reassigned while let cannot be redeclared but it can be reassigned for example if we are using a variable that we think can be changed later on for example um, username and we can have a lot of username then we can we can use, we can have any username right we just want to um, ask a user to enter his username right so this thing can actually be uh, reassigned later on so we can use let or war for that but again um, I, I told you war wasn't why war wasn't suitable now if there's something that you think 
is not going to change throughout the program then you can use const for example if I say const maybe a number that should be same throughout the program and I want to keep it like this this should be uh, stored in const so if at some point I want to change the number then again console will tell me that the number is read only you cannot actually modify this const value right so in simple words war is a war a, a can actually be redeclared and reassigned while let cannot be redeclared but can be reassigned and const can neither be redeclared nor reassigned const is constant okay so and the difference between war and let doesn't actually depend on um, whether one is good or bad it actually depends on how you want to use them uh, this difference is that war is a function or a global scope while let is a block scope now what does that mean block scope means if you have something inside this curly braces uh, this this is a block this is a code block and if i have a let inside this code block i cannot um, access it outside this block while um, the war can be accessed outside a code block until it's within a function or within a window so this whole window is a function and if I let's say if um, true if, if I use a if else statement see true then let's say war equals um, war name equals pop and we can use this name outside this block right because this is uh, sorry I'm sorry sorry this is name right okay so we can use this outside this block while if we have um, if we had let here then we cannot use this let outside this code block so this this actually depends on how you how you want to use war or let if you want uh, your code to not be accessed outside a, outside a block you can use let and if you want your code to be accessed uh, everywhere in the code then you can use war for that um, one last thing is that we can we use uh, const for arrays as well so um, let me just use const for arrays so um, for arrays const is used because through const we can let's say I've I've created a const of uh, things and that is equal to an empty array so this const can be modified modified but it cannot be uh, overwritten for example if I have if this um, con if this is if these things have something inside let's say table uh, oopsie table and then we have chair lol and we have pen so all of these things can be can actually be modified through the array methods that are pop push or um, like this for example if I want to add something else into these things I can say things dot push and let me just name it um, clothes right so this way if I now want to check what is inside the things you can see we have clothes as well so using const we can actually modify the arrays through array methods but we cannot override these arrays for example if I want to say now the things let's say now the things things should be equal to say something else then they are say they are saying that things are read only so things uh, again um, using const the arrays can be um, modified but the arrays cannot be overwritten so that's why we use const for arrays so that that was all for the video thanks for watching